welcome to King TV. I'm your host, Peter Triantis, and with me is Brooke Starr. Okay. <laughs> and tonight uh, we're doing something a little bit different. We're taking a departure from our Elvis theme. Um, we're going to go back to the 50s, which we already are in the 50s, but we're going to go Grease Lightning. That's with Mark Andrews, but we filmed this back on the uh, Rhapsody of the Sea. It was a fantastic show. And uh, if you notice with uh, Grease Lightning, there's also a little segment there where someone's been married off. I won't spoil the segment, but Ooh. it sort of diverts a little bit and looking forward to that. Mark Andrews, one of Australia's premier Elvis tribute artists, fantastic. We can't wait to see him tonight. Of course, we have our segment here with Plastic EP and the trivia, fantastic as always. And The King's Kitchen with the fabulous Derek J and myself. We look forward to that segment. Don't spoil and don't tell the viewers what's on tonight, but tonight is a fantastic recipe, folks. Let's join uh, Mark Andrews here on the Rhapsody of the Seas on this fantastic voyage and a fantastic show, Grease Lightning, Mark Andrews. Well, come on, you don't want to hear all the horny details, do you? Yeah! All right, I'll tell you. So beloved, happy and blessed. Ha, ha, ha. 
P's trivia, another hot segment. Hang on a minute, the phone's already ringing. What's going on here? Even Hang on, there's segment. someone at the door. We've got a special delivery from King TV. You've done it again without asking me, haven't you? <laughs> what? All right, bring it in. Bring it in. Come in. Special delivery? Special delivery. What's this? Another one too. Another box. Okay, what have, you, a bit what have you done here, wait, Plastic? Wait, wait, wait. That one, come in. Come in and say hello to everyone at home. Hello. That must be pizza in that box. No, there's no oh, pizza. We'll it looks just, like we'll you've got the, the, the blue Hawaii. Chair. We'll just work it on the chair. Thank you so much for your help. Yeah, you've organised this without me. I don't know. This is new to me. All right, here we I go. I think one of your girlfriends has organised this. Now, I want to take this costume out. I'm going to hold it up while you Please. tell everyone. This looks like the uh, Aloha costume, is that correct? That's the right. one. From 1973. Now, I don't know where you're finding all this, but this is a full replica of what Elvis wore back in 1973, Blue Hawaii. Uh, made by a company called... B and K in America, Dean just said Bill Ballou, who actually did make it for That's Elvis. right, Bill Ballou. So can you see that there, folks? It's a very heavy costume, but uh, you've really excelled here, buddy. Um, very hard to hold as well, but it looks fantastic. You know about the eagle? He wanted to make the suit that represented America. So for Elvis, the true America was going to be the eagle on the back here. of the cape. Now this cape here, this weighs about two and a half, three kilos. That's this, right. This is massive. Where have you sourced this from, Plastic? I don't know where it's come from, but this is amazing stuff. This goes straight to the vault? This came straight out now, of the vault. Can you oh, hold one end? You hold one end. I'll hold this. Now, this is brilliant. Now, stretch it out there. Keep on moving back there, Plastic. You can see the size and the workmanship that's gone into this. Uh, we've got, got to be hundreds of studs, rubies in there as well. I've got to see how heavy this is. Hang on. Stand back. You almost look like Stand back. It looks like Batman is instead of it. Turn around, plastic. Fantastic. And uh, look, what else have you got in the other box here? That's what I'm, I'm not sure. I think it could be pizza, hopefully. No, but of course it isn't. Folks, I don't, I don't know what happens with plastic, but he gets carried away with every, with every trivia section. He's bringing it out. That's the, the famous, famous belt. The Aloha belt. The Aloha belt. Look at that. Tell me a bit of trivia about the uh, Aloha belt. Well, I know the belt was actually specially made again, and that's why they also called it the Eagle suit yep because of the belt and again uh bill designed it for him and i believe this was one of elvis's favorite belts too well it, this was uh as i said the big concert in uh aloha and we're going to talk later about the l suit in a later episode but I, I can tell you what he actually threw this belt away in his concert that's true to a fan to a fan imagine if you were a fan and you received that from do elvis you know, do you know why he threw threw it out no because he threw, he had a ring that he passed out to someone, and the guy missed out, and the, the person next to it. So he gave the belt to the person. The ring was valued back then at forty thousand dollars. Back then, and now in 1973, he gave that away, and uh, he threw this away. But underneath his costume, unlike this one here that you showed the audience, was a copy of the belt that was actually infused within the costume. Threw this belt away, and then it was later sold for 140000 the person who bought it. And then many years later, the person wanted to donate it and gave it back to the Elvis Museum. Fantastic. For nothing. That's unbelievable. So that's a history, a little bit. I'll take this away while you continue talking to our uh, audience out there. Well, basically, that suit alone was one that he took, as I said, pride in being an American, and he wanted to emphasise the word America through the symbols of the eagle. Now, as we said, that concert was beamed across the world via satellite, was huge. And do you know, they wanted to raise $25,000 for cancer research, and guess how much they raised? 100,000? 75,000 was raised, which was triple the amount they wanted to raise. And the very first ticket was bought by Elvis Presley himself. That, to me, just shows the caliber and you know, the, the ethics of the man. It was fantastic to buy the, his very, very first uh, uh, ticket. Any more about this f huge show that was in uh, <laughs> Hawaii? That was huge. But also, it was the first global telecast. It wasn't like the Beatles when they did, you know, the song that they did, All You Need Is Love. This was the first one. So, I mean, that tells you then back the technology, 1973, that's pretty amazing to beam it worldwide. And uh, Elvis did record a lot of Beatles, uh, Elvis songs, didn't he? Yes. No, not Elvis songs, I mean Beatles. Beatles songs. I'm getting confused with Elvis. They did Hey Jude. Absolutely. And which one did it? Was he did one? something. Yeah, that's right. By George Harrison. 
guys, it's it's fantastic being here. You've got all the deliveries. You've got your golf phone there. You've got all the costumes. <laughs> this guy, the golf or get, do I get to keep this? Hey, I just got a call. Okay, we've got to go. We've got to go. Guys, I don't know if, if I get to keep this, mine or the vault. You can have it. I love Plastic EP. <laughs> See you next week. All the best. Right here on the Plastic EP's Trivia. Yeah! Well, this car's automatic. This evening I'm going to show all you guys how what Elvis Presley's uh, favorite hamburger. Ooh. This hamburger consists of peanut butter, hamburger, uh, then there's cheese, and there's bacon, a bit of salad. So we're going to <laughs> show you a bit of salad. <laughs> so, uh, you want to start off uh, putting a bit of butter on this one? Fantastic. Uh, Put some butter. Yeah. He loved this butter also. And we um, we are gonna put a bit of butter on there. And yeah. what was the next ingredient? Did you say peanut butter? Peanut butter. Wait a minute. Peanut butter with a hamburger. Yeah. Ugh. Have Have you ever? No, no. You got to try it after after you uh, finish this. I'll yeah. I'll cut a piece and I'm going to ask <laughs> you to try this. Oh, you're really selling it to me. Let me tell you that much, Joe. Um, okay. So once we put the peanut butter on, um, what's uh, next? what's next? What's next? Okay, a bit of cheese. Bit of, never in my wildest dreams of <laughs> cheese with peanut butter. But I'll tell you something, I actually love cheese. So put a bit of cheese on there, a bit more. Do you like cheese? Yeah, I love cheese, yeah. Who doesn't? Um, and then a bit of salad? Just a little bit. Okay, just a little bit. <laughs> no. Fantastic. <laughs> no, actually, we'll put some salad on there. All, um, right. all right. Okay. Fantastic. And with the salad, uh, he loved this mayonnaise. Did he? <laughs> he loved this mayonnaise. So. All right. I'm going to add a touch of mayonnaise. Oh, gee. Oh, Derek, <laughs> please. Okay. <laughs> oh, I love it. So on, on top of that, as I, as I said before, he loved this bacon. So while you put in the bacon, I'm going to get the hamburger, which I started cooking. Fantastic. All right. Wow. That's one more ingredient. Just, is that the last ingredient? No. No. He loved his barbecue sauce. <laughs> he loved his barbecue sauce. All right. So there we are. <laughs> no, I got the same problem. <laughs> I love it. Okay, a bit of barbecue sauce on the top of that. Yeah, so we will uh, close this like that. What's it's that? a beautiful hamburger, isn't it? It actually it, it, vis it visually looks delicious. Yeah. So are you going to get someone from the studio to? Who do you think I should get? Is there anyone that you have in mind? Um, he he might be a regular. He might not be a regular. His but name. He loves his hamburgers. <laughs> he loves his hamburgers. His name is Mr. Plastic EP. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> after, after coming on this show, 
I think I'm full of heavy You definitely bro. have. Definitely oh, have. Oh my god. And my jacket's gone small. Your jacket's <laughs> gone small and your belly's gone big. It doesn't close. What have you made? Seriously, my god. Seriously, you're... don't touch it. I know what the king felt it's, like. It's a six pack. Don't touch the king. I'm oh, no. sorry, what are you eating? Within a few months, he has put on so much weight. Seriously, well, I like, have. Um, what, what gender, do we know what gender the baby is going to be? It's not happening. Can you tell me more about the meal? <laughs> of course, of course. So, um, Derek just made one of Elvis's favorite hamburgers. Favorite hamburger. He's going to start with the barbecue sauce again. <laughs> no, no. Here we are. You've got to cut me a piece, Derek, and I'll try a bit. You have to cut it with a knife. Has he got a knife? Yeah, yeah right be here. careful, yeah. Derek, with a knife. We got the knife here. That's it, Derek. Oh, right. Can you try some brook? Of course, of course. Is Derek going to There's an update for 10 there. Yeah, mate. You might put on a bit more weight. Oh, here. this <laughs> looks really good. <laughs> Wow. When you buy me next week, I'm gonna be bigger than the studio. Get that right there. Ooh. We've got the salad. We've got. Oh, Derek. <laughs> oh, I think I put another five pounds. Look at that. Doesn't that just look fantastic, oh, right there? Um, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, you got to try. Do you want me to try? Yeah. Oh, go on. Okay. Mhm. Mm I, I want you to come to the studio, like. Uh... <laughs> it's delicious. That. It tastes so weird with the peanut butter, but it kind of works. Do you agree? I do. Mm. Actually, the butter is the king. Oh. Guys, guys, <laughs> we um we've enjoyed um this episode today, um learning about Elvis' favorite hamburger. Thank you, thank you very much. I've been Brooke Cotsos. This has been Plastic Pregnant EP, and over here we've got Derek J. And you've been watching The King's Kitchen. Bye for now. to see those renditions um, of Grease Lightning. And let me tell you, it was just amazing to see something different. Absolutely, and uh, Mark Andrews, what, what a fantastic rendition of Grease Lightning. Um, I grew up as a kid watching that show. Me too. And, and Mark did a, a great job. And uh, The King's Kitchen, my God. It's, 
it's, you know, <laughs> like seeing what Elvis ate and, and having the taste of what he ate, simply amazing. And taste. I also love that Derek also um, adds in some trivia facts, a bit like Plastic EP, about um, what Elvis was doing and how his chef was creating these fantastic meals for him to, Absolutely. to eat. That's what it's all about here, everything about Elvis, but uh, we also diversify and bring other acts in. It's been fantastic again. We look forward to seeing you all again next week, right here on King, King TV. TV. <laughs>